Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have an Noah squad builder on FIFA 19. Now I did one of these a few months ago and it actually went down really really well. Um, my team has changed a lot since then. Uh, I've got a load of new players, a load of new um, different types of cards in the squad. The value of the team has gone up. So I thought I was going to do an updated squad builder and a new squad builder for people that are looking for teams for the weekend league and stuff like that. Um, so before we do get into the video, if you could leave a like, comment and subscribe, that'd be great. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is just uh, run you through the team first and then I'll go through like the stats of the players in terms of in-game stats uh, and my opinion on the players. Uh, I'll keep it nice and short, you know. Um, the first player is going to be Allison in goal. Now, I've only used him for 8 games in the weekend league so far. And um, he's actually been okay, not really been anything good or anything bad really about him. Um, he's got good reflexes, kicking, handling, positioning, diving. They're all 84 plus or 83 plus. Um, I've got a glove chem style on him, I think. Yeah, obviously his chemistry is um, down because there's no links at the moment. Um, if we go to, not the Premier League, we go to Liga Santander, right back. Footmas Arias. Um, Arias, very good card. Um, probably the best right back I've used in the FIFA so far. Obviously, there is probably better alternatives to him, uh, like Danny Alves, SPC, but obviously that's gone now. Um, I'll come back to his stats and stuff. I'm going to put the team in first before I look at the stats. Then we've got Jimenez, Champions League card. Uh, and then we move back over to the Premier League and we go for a centre back named Van Dyke. Then we go to the left back position again in the Premier League. Van Anholt, Footmas card. Obviously, you can't get him anymore. So, if you were going to use this team, you'd have to revert to using his normal left back gold card. Or if you have a Footmas card, then obviously use that. Uh, we're going to stay in the Premier League here with Fabinho. And then on the other side, we're going to go with Kovacic, Footmas card. Into the last centre midfield spot, we're going to go back to the C. Lang uh, La Liga, something there with Saul. And then we're going to leave that league. And we're going to head back straight to the Premier League. And we're going to put player of the month for Lucas in. Obviously, same again. Oh, backed out by accident. Same again. You're going to have to buy his normal card, if or unless you have a player of the month card. Um, same with this guy, Eden Hazard. And the striker to finish off the team, Roberto Firmino's Champions League card. Now, jump back to the team. Um, Allison. Now, 41k I paid for him. It's Is he worth 40k? Probably not, to be honest. Um, he's all right, I guess. If you look at his in-game stats, uh, obviously plus 15 on handling, diving, and positioning, plus 14. He got decent stats. Uh, I prefer Edison. I was using Edison, but obviously I changed my centre back from David Luiz to Van Dijk, so I had to get Allison if I wanted Edison. If I if I wanted my keep on full cam, I had to get Allison. So that's why I did that. Arias, um, I've got a backbone on him. His jumping goes up. His strength goes up. And then all of his defending stats go up. And then also his curve, long pass, short pass, curve, rossing, vision. They all go up as well. He's a really, really good card. Obviously, he's, he was like 30k to do the SPC. High medium work rates. Um, 68 games played, 17 assists. For a right back, which most of my defenders don't really get up much, is actually all right. Um, I think he's a great card. Uh, we move over to his uh, partner in crime next to him, Jimenez. Um, 25k pay for this card, 6 foot 1, medium high, you know he hasn't got the greatest of stats, I mean he's got good defending and physical, but other than that it's not great, but I actually think he's not a bad card, eventually I probably would like to upgrade to Godin, uh, just to have a, just a better overall card, but in terms of the stats, like he goes up to 93 jumping, his aggression goes up by 9, strength goes up by 5, all of his set defending stats go up by um, 10, apart from interception which goes up by 5, and then obviously his acceleration and sprint speed with a anchor on him. And I think he, he is a decent centre back and he's very cheap for 25k. Um, so yeah, highly recommend him and Ez. Um, moving over to Van Dyke now. Probably near one of the mo more expensive players in the squad. Like uh, Allison, I've only had him for 8 games because I recently just changed my team. Um, he is probably the best defender in terms of centre backs I've used in the game. Um, he is just a monster. Like, how tall is he? Like six foot four. He, he's just an absolute monster. Um, highly recommend him. I've got a shadow on him, which bumps his pace and defending up. Uh, his defending stats are really good anyway, and his pace um, wasn't actually great, so uh, it was good to have him up there. Van Anholt, another same like Arias, very very good. 
um, in terms of how cheap he is for his card. Um, obviously, you can't get him now with the footmas version because that's over. But his stats are very, very... They're average, but they it's quite good. His pace is very good. Uh, his physical is actually quite good, apart from his strength, which is pretty weak, which is the only downside probably to this card. Um, but getting forward, he's really, really good. Is it, how many goals has he scored? He's only scored five and got six assists. So, I mean, I think he's a good player. We're going to move over to Sal, probably the weakest link in the team, not going to lie. Don't like using him at all. Uh, I need to eventually maybe buy like a Griezmann and put him down into centre mid and then move in with Firmino uh, in game and play Firmino at centre mid because he does, uh, he can play centre mid Firmino. Uh, but yeah, Sal's in game stats. They don't look too bad, but he's he just n not for me. I normally take him off at half time or the 60, 50th or 60th minute, uh, depending on how the game's going. Wouldn't really recommend him, to be honest, but he's there for the chemistry reasons. Now, Kovacic. I enjoy using Kovacic. Uh, I used his normal card at the start of FIFA. I thought he was really good. His physical is probably the weakest area for him, uh, but his passing is so good. Vision, short pass, and long pass. Really, really good card. Um, his dribbling is very, very good as well. His, look at his ball control and dribbling, 91 and 90. You know, he's very, very good on the ball. Uh, if you like that quick passing, L1 passing, uh, he's a really good player to use. Uh, moving over to Fabinho, this this guy surprised me. Obviously, he's a monster, 94 stamina. Then you go into his defending stats, like 89, 86, 85, 83. His ball control and reactions are very, very good as well, and his composure especially with the time for their shots outside the box he scored me 21 goals now for a center mid which is he's basically a cdm like you shouldn't really be getting that many goals in my opinion it's down to more the forwards but he's just pinging them in from the edge of the box i fabinho is probably the most recommended player i've used in this team for you to buy i think he's great um 202k though for his inform let me just check his price i don't want to make sure i don't want to list him compare price he's probably gone down or has he gone up okay he's gone up a bit um so i did buy him at the right time well it looks like he's gone up but not by much though i bought him for like what 202k he's probably like 220 if that um highly recommend him uh lucas player of the month the stats don't look good because when i first used him for the first like 50 plus games i was so bad at online fifa uh, i just didn't bother playing it but nonetheless he's starting to get his form back i've started to like him more but like so, I'd take him off probably 60 minutes into the game for like Willian or Sterling on the bench. Um, but I do think he's really, he does score some nice goals. Uh, his shooting is very good, his dribbling and pace, insane. Um, as you can see there, all the left sides looks great. And then you get to his physical and defending, which is not good. But I'd highly recommend him. But obviously, you can't get that version. So you're going to have to do like a, um, you're going to have to get his normal card, which isn't as bad but obviously it's a, this is a big upgrade to his card now moving on player of the month hazard same again you can't get this card but his 90 rated normal card would be just as good he's starting to get more goals now like um lucas i wasn't really playing much fifa with hazard uh and when i was i was not good uh, now i'm a bit better getting used to the game i'm better so he's scoring more goals now mainly in foot champs and div rivals now his card is insane look at that 96 dribbling 93 pace 90 passing and uh, he's got me 72 goals, 40, 42 assists. Uh, not too bad. Same as um, Lucas. All the left side is perfect. And then defending and physical isn't great, apart from his stamina, which is pretty good. Um, moving on to the last player, probably the second best, if not the first. I don't know. Between him and Fabinho, the most recommended to get. This Champions League card, Firmino. I know I probably could have got his footmas card, but I didn't have the coins. And he's probably going to get an inform next week scoring a hat trick against Arsenal if his rating is higher which I don't know if it will be or not if it's an 88, 88 and it's a cam I'll convert it to a striker and buy it because this card is insane the time for their shots with him like Fabinho's unreal 122 games 73 goals it's 68 assists money worth um, obviously I got him for a first owner um, on tradable like near the start of the game uh, he's been in my team literally like every team I've used he's been in uh, shooting stats are great. Passing dribbling is great as well. Um, his physical is actually not too bad. You know, he's in the plus 70s, but it probably could be a bit, bit better. Uh, great stamina as well. Look at that, 91 stamina. Um, roughly, obviously, if you you can get you so you can buy Allison, you can buy Jimenez, Saul, Van Dijk, Fabinho, Firmino, and then for players like Kovacic, Hazard, Lucas, if you don't have their cards, and Arias and Van Aanholt, if you don't have their 
any type of special card which they already have, then you'd have to go for their normal card or informs and stuff like that. Hazard might be getting an inform, but I don't really know. Um, Van Anholt is normal card, 75 rated gold. I mean, it's not great, uh, so you could probably get a different player there, maybe inform Robertson, for example, uh, for Kovacic. You could put like if you you could put like an N'Golo Kante there or use Kovacic as normal card for Lucas. I don't know someone like inform oh, inform Williams left wing. Uh, Willian, for example, I, I've got Willian on the bench. Um, funny enough, if I go over to Willian, now obviously he's only had eight games, one goal. He hasn't really much, done much. Uh, Sterling the same, only getting one goal and one assist and eight. Uh, Jesus got four goals, and he's all right. And then uh, Matuidi comes off the bench a lot, but he just sits in uh, Kovacic's spot and drops off. If I go over quickly. Uh, I'll just show you what um, it kind of is doing for me. Current rank, I've got 14 wins, uh, no, 15 wins, sorry, uh, and I've got like seven games left. Yeah, seven games left, so I can get at least goal one if I get like five and two in the last uh, bit of my games. But yeah, uh, just showing you what the team kind of does. I'm still getting used. To this is my first weekend league, so don't um, don't judge on the record. Um, but anyway, that's the team, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're still here, please leave a like, comment your thoughts on the team. Uh, any other squad builders or any other foot related stuff you want me to bring out in terms of videos then let me know and also subscribe if you are new we're nearly at 500 subs i want to hit it before the new year which would be great so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video